Okay, so in this problem, it's a, a money problem, and you're, you've got $11.85 in Zach's piggy bank. He's only got nickels and quarters, uh, and it tells you something about the nickels and quarters. It says that the number of quarters is equal to one less than twice the number of nickels. So the question is, how many of each coin does he have? Well, when we start these problems, you always want to identify a variable. So I'm just going to identify n as my number of nickels. And I'm doing this because um, the problem writes quarters in terms of nickels. So it's going to be a lot easier if I do it that way. So you, looking at that, that third sentence there, I can figure out a way to express the number of quarters. And the way you would do that, well, it says that the number of quarters is equal to one less than twice the number of nickels. So 2 times the number of nickels minus 1. So the number of nickels is n, the number of quarters is 2n minus 1. Now that we look for the value, so the value of the number, the amount of the nickels that you have and the value of the quarters that you have has to add up to $11.85. So to express value, we use the decimal equivalence and a nickel is 5 cents, so 0.05n. A quarter is 25 cents, and then you're going to multiply that times the number of quarters, which is 2n minus 1, and so the value of those two has to equal 11.85. And now we just go through and solve it. Start by doing the distributive property. 0.25 times 2 is going to give you 0.5n, and 0.25 times 1 is going to give you just 0.25. Okay, we add like terms, so we add those together to get 0.55n minus 0.25 equals 11.85. We add 0.25 to both sides, and we get 0.55n is equal to um, $12.10. So to solve this, we're just going to divide $12.10 by 0.55 which gives you 22. So the numbers of nickels is equal to 22, so the answer is 22 nickels. And then the number of quarters is going to be 22 times 2, so 44 minus 1, which would give you 43 quarters. And that's your answer, 22 nickels and 43 quarters.